Hello, and welcome to the Seven Sisters uh, Thief 2 fan mission, or mini campaign, I guess, so three missions by Lady Rowena. I believe this one is also a horror themed mission, just like Rowena's Curse. But apart from that, and apart from the fact that it's one of the ones that lots of people put in their favourite uh, fan mission lists, I know nothing about it, uh, beyond what I've read in the read me. So let's get started. Now this does actually have an intro video, but it's not a mission briefing, so I'm going to go back to Notepad and read the briefing. A few months have passed since Garrett helped Basso and Genevieve escape together. They are now happily married and have settled down in a small town close to the city, East Fording, where Basso decided to open a locksmithing shop. Shortly thereafter, Basso invited Garrett to spend a few days at his home. Garrett accepted the invitation and received a reply the next day. Garrett, Genevieve and I are thrilled that you will be spending time with us. As mentioned in the invitation, we will be waiting for you at the carnival, which is scheduled to begin in 20 days. I can't wait to see you again. I miss the good old days. I also have a suggestion. Leave your work tools at home. Let's have some fun instead. Your affectionate friends, Genevieve and Basso. P.S. We have had two or three cases of plague in town recently, therefore the city council has decided to impose a curfew. This will most likely be settled within a few days, but just in case it isn't, I've enclosed a map of my house. There is a hidden passageway just outside the city walls that was once used by smugglers. The exit is in my storage hut, and from there you will be able to enter the city without being seen. Well, that's convenient. There's a secret way in. Uh, let's get started. Well, that's not ominous. Uh, okay, I don't know really anything about the difficulty levels here, but I'm just going to go on hard as usual. With any luck, that means that if I get into trouble with armed guards, I do have the option of killing them if I need to to get out of a tight spot. Um, but apart from that, let's go visit Jennifer Basso and have fun at the carnival. I'm sure that whole thing about the red moon and brother killing mother and mother slaughtering their offspring and stuff, I'm sure that's just... everything will be fine. We'll have some fun, it'll be a nice holiday. Beginning with a swim! I guess it's the smuggler's tunnel? Alright, before I do anything else, I'll begin with a hard save, because I usually forget to do that. Oh, this is a prologue mission, okay. Uh, I don't have a map just now, but I guess it will... Wait, so there's a prologue followed by three missions instead of a three consecutive nights. Oh, a lantern, just like uh, in Rowena's Curse. Nice. But this time, I, if I drop it, it doesn't just float in the air. Alright. I don't know if I'll use it, but if I'm hunting for secret switches and stuff, certainly could be an option. Basso's storage hut. Can you turn that one off? No. Oh, well, it's a fine night in the city. This, uh... Can't hear a single guard. Lovely. So peaceful. Unlike uh, when it's cursed with regards everywhere. Now, question. Is this just fine texture or can I climb it? No, just texture. Alright, oh, what have we got here? A plate with a tiny, tiny deer leg. I mean, it's more like a cat's leg size. Deer. What the? What happened here? Uh, read the note that Basso left for you to discover what happened. Pick up the key on the table and go to your room upstairs. That's very specific. 
Alright, what's the note say? Why well, you left me some beer? That's good. Garrett, I'm leaving this note here for you in case you arrive during my absence. Do you remember the outbreak of plague that I mentioned in my last letter? The situation took a turn for the worst in only a few days. We've lost count of how many are infected now. This is a strange type of plague that doesn't seem to affect animals, only human beings. All of a sudden, those infected become aggressive towards anyone who approached them. Some even killed their own relatives. The populace has been advised to inform the authorities of any new cases or information they discover. The authorities have promised that no harm will come to those who have been infected. However, this is a deception. Even they are scared of this new plague. They are killing any infected victims they come across without mercy. At night, thugs wander around town and break into homes to rouse the plague-stricken victims. Their houses are plundered, branded as infected, and then burned to the ground. The town guards are doing nothing to prevent this. On the contrary, it seems they are also trying to loot anything they can come across. The villagers are scared. Everyone who has sick relatives tries to hide them in fear that they could be killed at any moment. By now, there is not a single family that hasn't been affected in some way. I believe my neighbour has also been infected. I hear strange wheezings coming from his house. Despite this tragedy, I thought this could never happen to me. Oh, how I was wrong. Tonight, Genevieve and I were just sitting down for supper, when suddenly she uttered an inhuman shout and hurled herself against me. She had bloodshot eyes, she was foaming at the mouth, and her face was beyond recognition. I don't know how I managed, but I was able to drag her downstairs and lock her up in the turbine room. I'm going out now. I'll go see Dr. Knox to see if he has some kind of remedy, or if he can give me any advice. Night is falling now, but luckily I have a habit of making a copy of my customer's keys for myself. I will be able to return home easily, in spite of the curfew, by passing through the sewers. I don't think that any of the guards would ever harm me, as most of them are friends of mine. Garrett, please do not harm Genevieve if you arrive here before me. There must be a way to cure this strange malady. I would like you to follow my advice and stay in my house, but knowing you, I already know that you won't sit still. I left you the key to the shop. If you really want to, you can meet me at Dr. Knox's. His house is just beyond the police station. I must warn you, it won't be easy getting there. Before she succumbed to the plague, Genevieve prepared a room for you upstairs. You will also find a map of the town there and a few useful tools. Unfortunately, I was only able to recover one lockpick. The workshop of Connor the Weaponsmith is not very far from my house, but it's closed at night, so you can try to reach it through the sewers if you wish. In the turbine room, there is a door that leads to the sewers, but it's locked. I had a spare key behind a brick, but unfortunately it's on the other side of the door, so you won't be able to reach it. In any case, please remember that Connor is a friend of mine, and if possible, I don't want him to be harmed in any way. The best thing for you would be to remain home until I return and have a good night's sleep. See you soon. Basso. Well, it's the room key. Glug, mm. glug. Uh, okay. Well, that's a... Uh, I guess that prophecy turned out to be relevant after all. Yeah, what a mess here. I might as well, you know, help him clean up a little. Put the dishes in the sink. I shouldn't have tossed this mug of ale into the fire, should I? That was a bit, a bit rude. Can I get back? Yeah. I'm not burning myself. There we are. Does he have a waste paper basket? That looks like a bin. Not waste paper, waste goods. That won't go in. Right, let's put it here. Right. Oh dear. I just heard a noise. A growling noise. You know, well, the objective is to pick up a key on the table and go to your room upstairs, but... Hmm. Guess me that's Genevieve in the... Uh in the turbine room. Well, let's go check out my room, because there's, there's some tools and equipment there, apparently, and that sounds like a useful thing to have. Whatever happens, what's up with that step? Is this my room? No, that's not my room. Uh, I guess this one's my room. Where's my key? Is that it? I was afraid of that. <laughs> okay. 
Well, there's no loot. Uh, we probably could have got it down and looked at the door of the one room. Probably not gone in, I guess. Well, that's the prologue. And uh, we'll continue on with the next mission. One second, though. I have to update the uh, stream description in Twitch. No, we don't want that. Because it's still saying this is Ruinous Curse, which it's not. Right. Okay, let's continue. See what comes next. Night one. Meet Basso at Dr. Knox's house. Find a cure for the plague and heal Geneva. Well, that's, you know, doesn't sound hard. Heal at least four other plague citizens. Oh. Heal all the plague citizens you can in this part of town. Optional. Now that's interesting. We. If we find a cure, there's going to be a lot to go around. That's nice. Genevieve and Basso are your friends. Make sure no harm befalls them. Ensure that no innocents die by your hand or as a result of your negligence. Some civilians are armed, but it's just to defend themselves. Don't kill any of them. As long as they don't attack me on sight. You came here to have a good time, but since things haven't worked out as planned, you may as well profit from the occasion. Even if you only got one locket tonight. Make a good use of it. Find at least 1900 loot. Once all your objectives are complete, go back to your room in Basso's house and get some rest. Another challenging night awaits you tomorrow. Uh, oh, where's a small arm expert? Uh, because... Don't kill any human. It's a lot shorter. Okay. And there's more loot. Great. Right hard we're doing. Alright, so up in our room, we got Basso Shocky, we have triangle lockpick, not the square. No, but I like the square one. Although the colour of the triangle one is nicer. Okay. Hmm. It was interesting to have this as a uh, prologue bit as a separate mission because I'm not sure why it wouldn't just be part of the same. Oh, look at that. All that work I did cleaning up is undone. Yeah. Sorry about uh, He has a bit more mess that I can't clean up. Sorry, yeah, uh, Basso, but that will have to do so. There's some money coming outside the front door, but they can't go back out there. It's not yet, okay. Oh, this is his shop, is it? Master Basso, as you may know, our guardian forest has been missing for several days. We are in great trouble since he was wearing the only key to sewer maintenance station 2. I hope that you can make a copy of the key for us as soon as possible. Regards, John Higgins. Now we got a couple of keys here I can't pick up. What's this? I don't know, but I can't do anything with it anyway. And uh, three metal gears for those Fancy new mechanist locks. Basso, I'm ashamed of you for doing anything with those. Are you also doing engravings, I see? Do you uh, do bit repairs? I've got a guard out there, but I'm going to go check the turbine room before I try to go out to the streets. I'm walking slowly so as not to uh, aggravate Genevieve. Genevieve, I'm uh, sorry to see you in the state. Uh, I could try going going in there, but I think it's probably better to just leave her be for now. She needs to rest in her condition. Alright, so who was it? Uh, Forrest had the only key to sewer maintenance station 2. 
Oh, I've seen one named Forest. Question. Is he one of the citizens I should have cured to get that optional objective? I hope not. Now these guys better not see me. I'll be quite upset if they come here and see me. Of course, I couldn't, shouldn't be searching now, but that's just the way the uh, AI and thief works. It's not set up to recognize uh, the absence of the foes it's vanquished but as soon as the foe is vanquished and disappeared it starts searching come on guys give up give up your search and let, let's think let's have things go back to relatively normal and you can patrol the streets and do your jobs and we need not have any more unpleasantness, at least not. Oh shit, unpleasantness. 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 I'm gonna jump in the canal. Some uh, crazed monkeys there as well. <laughs> no, I can't go in here. Do I have a map this time, by the way? I do. Oh, whoa! This place is uh, complicated. Where are we? There's Doctor Knox's northeast, and Basso is here. So I'm in the canal. Okay, so I'm not actually far from Doctor Knox's. It's not going to be as easy as just going to the doctor to find a cure, is it? But it's a reasonable place to start, and I'm part of the way there already. Unfortunately, I seem to have alerted every guard in the vicinity by mistake. Let's see if I can uh, get out of the water somewhere where they won't be able to get at me. Something like this boat. <sighs> Higgins and Sons, Sewers Maintenance Station 1. Alright, can't pick that one. It's the wrong. Got the wrong shape. Oh, they look at them. Look at them up there, still searching for me. See them waving their swords in the air. Let's see. Run around. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to wait for them to stop in order to progress. However,. I just saw there's a water arrow there. I wonder if there's any other water crystals I might be missing that I could safely get without alerting these fine fellows. Oh, there's actually a way into the sewers here. Quiet, you monkey. <laughs> well, let's check out this bit of the sewers then. I need to go four water arrows, that's alright. That's a good start. Do I need this open? <laughs> no, apparently not. Alright. Well, I'll take the water arrows. It'll do for, to start with. I just wonder if they heard all my jumping around and splashing around there and I'm back to searching again. That would be unfortunate. This is all this gate here, which almost looks like I should be able to climb up it, but it's a bit tall. Alright. <laughs> da 
does it look like people? Oh, one of them was still searching for me, but it's just given up. All right, uh, the police station does not seem like a sensible destination for a tapper like myself. I think I'll be avoiding them. Let's check the map. I mean, they're definitely in the way. Maybe I have to go through there to get here. Anything else? I mean, there's lots of other areas I can go to. Let's go meet Basso at the doctor's. Can I get across there at all? Well, I can pick this one. Here's a baker. Uh, sorry, I was taking that because I saw it was a good, good for a, uh, oh, I didn't mean to eat it now. Good for a later screenshot. Actually. Hello, sir. Oh, save me. There's... Why didn't you fall unconscious? Oh, bollocks. Well, better not hit him again. He might die. He doesn't have anything else anyway. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Yeah, working up the cops again. Dear, dear. This is getting to be... Have to save. So much for the bakers. Um, I don't know how many rope arrows do I have. Uh, where else can I go? Oh look, they're all over there searching for me over there again. I've really woken the hive. I do think I'll escape, but I think I'm going to have to wait a little while to do so. I don't know why I couldn't knock that fellow out. Well, only the civilians, it's just one tap on the head, but maybe these civilians, once they're alerted to me, aren't going to go down so easily. It would appear to be the case. Still some searching footsteps up there. Might be the baker himself, I'm not sure. I don't have any other... The problem is I can't get out of this water area without going past all of them. So I don't really have much choice except to sit and wait. Uh, I could go explore all this stuff, but uh, I don't think that's really what I should be doing just yet. Two sets of footsteps. Well, I'll save and have a peek. Right, I think I'm just hearing the baker walking around now again. Oh, there's a monkey in a cage. Well, that explains why I heard a monkey. Of course, because the carnival's in town. Apparently the monkeys aren't affected by the plague, though. I wonder if the guards are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! He sensed me a moment too soon. Okay. No! Fighting has been for many. Actually, I didn't check. Is there any kind of ladder out of the water over here? No. What about... I guess I could search in the water, right? Any underwater tunnels? I think I might have seen them before, but I didn't really look. Only loot lying on the bottom of the canal, you know. I don't have much hope of finding anything that lets me progress any other way, but... Uh... 
Oh, this seems to have calmed down. Oh, it's still searching. I guess maybe going around by the police station is a bad idea. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should head round this way. Well, it doesn't look like I can get through there, right? It's a little unclear. Oh, we've got a more detailed map of. Oh, okay, the northwestern corner there. Oh, right, so there is a way through there. So, in theory, it should be possible. Hmm. Alright. I even jump across the canal there, you know? I don't think I'll be able to jump that far. So honestly, I do think I'm going to have to go back and uh, go the long way around. Oh, and maybe I could jump to that... Well, I could jump to the window ledges of the police station, but I couldn't get in there. Going into the police station seems foolish. He's just sleeping on the job. It's alright, I'm not gonna peep. I'm a thief. Not a perv. So he saw something was up, but he didn't quite have a chance to see what. I got the body just in time. Okay. I should check this door up here, too. I wonder what. Well, that goes, but I'm gonna. Like, it'd be foolish to go up there while this guy's searching for me. With one look at me standing that light, and he would be, uh. certain. Just figure something else up. Oh! Ow! Ow, oh, fuck. That hurt. Dear, oh dear, like, how did he... <laughs> Bloody eyes in the back of the head. That's it. Oh! Bolt. I'm gonna reload that one, because that's just frustrating. <sighs> right, I mean, I can wait another minute and he'll calm down some more, and then he will, shouldn't notice me creeping up behind him, but... Yes, in br bright light, he will see me anyway. A spider sense when they're alert is uh, quite ridiculous. See? Just a tiny footstep, and he, sees, and he knows I'm there. Because the light's too bright. And because he's still. Oh god, these guys are gonna get in the way, aren't they? Yeah. Try and just put them as far over as we can. Alright. Because it's too bright. And once they're alert, they really do have functional spidey sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Pure imagination. My store doesn't even open yet. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to open it tomorrow. There's no kind of ledge over here, is there, that I could... I mean, there's up there, but I can't get up there in order to get across to there. Oh. Bloody Baker almost saw me again. Let's just deal with him. It's the third time this shift. Getting jumpy. So, uh, what am I going to do? 
I guess hope he's calmed down enough now. It usually takes a couple of minutes. Okay, he's calm enough. I didn't mean to pick him up again, I meant to put him in a slightly more out of the way spot. Okay. So. Primo, huh? I hope, I hope you're not actually dead, but you might be. If you're dead, I can't. I can't, uh. Cure you. I even left the door to the shop open in all in all the uh, racket, ruckus, fuss, whatever. Yoink! Take this arrow. All right, you know, to be honest. I think you're all probably safer from the plague. If you're uh, just lying apparently dead in the street, the plague uh, victims aren't going to be that aware, are they? I didn't even notice this passage here. Where does this take me? Weaponsmith. Ah, oh, it's closed. Can I get over? No, I can't. There's a little look, look at that overhang. Look at that cunning overhang. That's going to stop me mantling. Uh, what did you say about the weaponsmith here? Uh, Con of the weaponsmith, not very hard, but it's closed tonight. You can try to reach it through the sewers. Alright, so if I can get access to the sewers, then I can possibly get access to the weaponsmith. Craftsman's way. Alright, we have a carpenter. Can't open it. Oh yeah, we do have the red moon, as prophesied. Okay. And one of the things in the uh, readme... Uh, said that most of the doors you can't open on the first night will be openable on the second night. Oh, guards. So I don't, I'm not going to obsess too much about the ones I can't open just yet. Well, this is a nice, brightly lit alley, isn't it? Civilian. Unplagued. I thought those were curfew. What? Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Is this a gas arrow or just... Seam. What the hell? What are you searching for? What do you see? Well, you don't have any uh, loot on you, so I don't know why you suddenly ran over there. That's very odd behavior. All these guards wandering the street. Footsteps coming from every direction. I don't feel safe at all. I especially wish I had rope arrows, yeah. Look at these nice beams. Beams and balconies. I think that's another guard coming. Oh, that's not a guard, but it's just as bad. Well, there I am, running to escape again. This uh, mission's going really successfully so far. All right, you asked for it. I really didn't. Oh, there's a guard in there. Okay. I guess that's the cells of the police station. The connectivity here is frustrating, and the fact that I don't have any normal escape routes like ladders or uh, 
rope, arrow possibilities, climbing opportunities, or just run and jump in the canal is my only way of hiding. No flash bombs or anything, right? So can't do anything except run and hide. Three broadheads, four water arrows, none of which are any use on these streets. Oh, there he is. And once again, blackjack them. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Blackjack them from where they should have been. Uh, should have been safe to do so. I don't know why it wasn't. I was in pitch blackness. Which usually means when they're not alert, they can't even feel you if they walk up to you. When I say feel, that's really their short range vision, but short range night vision that's activated only when they're more alert than usual. I was getting away, but you'll still be alert, so I do need to be careful here. Can't see. Well, there he goes. I guess I better just stay out of his way. Easier said than done when I don't know where I'm going. Alright, let's, let's come up with a plan. Uh... Can I get into the crowd, dancing barrack and through? Probably not. Can I get round... So that was just here. I don't need to be there. Can I get round Market Square? And I'll get close and come up this way. I mean, I do want to explore as much as I can, but that might be easier. Later on, I don't know. Civilian. Everybody's going to see me and suddenly start. They don't. No, nobody seems to be worried by the other people dressed like thieves carrying swords. But here I am. Why is everyone looking behind them as well? In case I'm following them, but I don't want to follow you. All right, there's some other sword coming back this way. There's so much for me moving from this spot. He's just decided to stand and watch. Okay, going away. Oh, and now the other one's come. Fine. How to do. In fact, no, not coming my way. Alright. I don't care what you think you have or haven't done, but I need to be able to move around these streets with a little more freedom than this high volume of traffic would uh, otherwise allow. Yep, oh, more footsteps coming. Is this? Considering I don't really know where I'm going and I want to, I want to sit in alcoves that are brightly lit. All these alcoves for picking doors are brightly lit, that's really bad. Maybe that's the civilian again? Yeah, she's still wandering, alright. Wally and the fabulous Dolly. So maybe that monkey we saw is Dolly. See, I want to go pick that lock, but with this guy, sword man here. If you're lucky tonight, do you, punk? It's gonna be hard to try and pick any door locks. What was that? It was you falling asleep while I find a dark corner here. <coughs> not, <coughs> not really dark enough, but uh, let's put you over here. Alright, so the only person wandering the streets now is uh, that long-haired lady. Should be okay. 
Can I pick these? I can, I can open it in my face. Fruit. Carrots. Okay, I'll have I'll take some fruit. Apples. And cucumbers. Nobody. Yeah, well, I'm not going in the pub, am I? It's not really a sensible place to go. So what's happened here? They've uh, burnt someone. They've stuck a sign on this wall. Attention all citizens. Due to the plague which is infecting the population, the town council has decided to adopt extreme measures in order to avoid further contagion. All citizens will be obliged to follow the new rules, with the exception of the city watch, private guards, and our friends the mechanist guards. No one may enter or leave town without authorization. Those who disobey will be sentenced to five days in prison. A curfew will be in place from sunset to dawn. Any citizen caught in the streets during this time will be ordered to stop and identify themselves. Should they resist or attempt to flee, they will be caught and killed. Any citizen who suspects that a member of their household is infected must immediately report this to the city watch. After necessary inspections, their house will be placed under quarantine. We guarantee that no harm will befall either the patient or their relatives. Any public celebration, parade, or show related to this carnival is strictly forbidden. Any citizen court will be sentenced to three days in prison. Private parties will be tolerated within the limits of good taste. The Mayor, Lord Julius Flaherty. Oh, yeah, here's a zombie here. Yeah. Well, I say zombie. Plague victim. Wait, let's see what was up here where there's... Footsteps. No. Nope. Yes. Hmm. Is that a knife you've got? That looks like a knife you've got. A knife and a bottle. Don't suppose you'll be pleased to see me, huh? It's nice. At least it's a stone floor, not tile. It looks like tile. Sleep. Yeah. She is so insistent. Yeah, sleep. He fell asleep on the toilet. Look at those moonbeams. The moon is red, but the beams are blue. What does that mean? So I don't know if he lives in this house or whether he was breaking into the house. The other guys who were coming and going certainly looked like thieves. Uh, it's hard to say. Oh, I'll stand up here and uh, pick this lock if we can. This is Garrett's problem. He has a simple, you know. First, he said, suggested just go rest in the house. Just, just have a enjoy your night's rest while uh, Basher tries to sort things out. I'm sure Basher is pretty capable, right? Well, no. Given the history we have, I better make a move before she uh, comes around. Uh, but it's a simple sounding objective, and then. What should happen? But Garrett decides, no, I'm gonna go mosey over to the doctors and meet you there. Also a pretty simple objective, but then he gets sidetracked by every single house along the way. No city is safe when Garrett's about. And he's trying to go this way, and I can't go through this gate. So 
to uh, all get close, this gate's all sealed off because of the uh, quarantine, so. Is this a canal or a sewer here? Just wait till she stops looking and then I'll go up that way and take a look, see myself. Like, really, what are you doing? Why are you walking around town? Remember the curfew? Certainly look. Wait, hmm. do you? Odd noises. You also have a knife. No? Oh no. Oops. <coughs> Tina. Well, I'm sorry, Tina, for the headache, but, um. At least this way I don't have to keep stopping and waiting for you anymore. It's fun to do that, uh. If I'm playing slowly myself and not really, uh. In any kind of hurry. But when I'm playing on the stream, I just really rather just get on with it. God, these people are poor as anything. What's up with the milk? Can't drink it. Anything behind the counter? No. Wow, got a donut. Nice. And a dress. Nothing else? No. Alright, well I won't just slow disturb your slumber. I don't want the lights on. Okay. So much for the cheese makers. Less than other cheese makers, but they shall enjoy their slumber even while the rest of the town is succumbing to a mad plague. Pity I can't leave any of these up and get access to the sewers. Oh, what's this? A rope arrow. A rope arrow! Yay! Here, don't want to wake him. Quiet with your celebrations. Abel, I finally managed to procure a rope arrow. I have something else to do tonight, but tomorrow we'll have to see about cleaning up Judge Fowley's house. Luckily, that idiot has a habit of leaving a window open. Janvier. Oh, Janvier is one of the uh, ones to knock out down here. Right? I think the name's familiar. I can't remember where I left him. Yeah, this is Janvier, I think. Aha, so, okay. Housebreakers, alright. Cool, let's. I don't actually have to feel bad about. Hitting him on the head. Where was the other one? This was guard. Did I check see your name? Uh, you're Brock. Brock. Ah, uh, here. Janvier and Vasco. And, uh, of course, Tina. Who I'm very suspicious of. And I think was acting as a lookout for them. Alright. I have a rope arrow, just the one, so I do need to be careful with it. Don't want to accidentally shoot it into a piece of stone or anything like that. But uh, I can get places. Damn it! I'm going to need a square lock for that, alright. Uh, that's just trolling. No! No! Ah. Really now? Really? See some cheese will uh, cure my wounded ankle. There we are. It did. Let's try that again. So I didn't want to have to jump that because of the... Uh, the distance. Yeah, okay, if I do it right, I don't have to jump. Uh, nothing else I have here, but, uh, oh. He has a habit of leaving his window open, indeed. Wait, was Jamba gonna make the hit without Abel? Oh, dear. I guess he won't be closing his window again anytime soon. Well, 
That's Judge Fowley. Are you left a note? Ophelia, my little flower. I've been sitting here until dusk, staring at your portrait. My mind kept going back to when you were a little girl. You used to come in here and fling your arms around my neck while you sat on my knees. Now that your mother is no longer with us, you are my only reason to live. How could you do this to me? The whole town is mocking me. You have soiled my reputation. I can bear the pain and humiliation no longer. Farewell, my sweet, cruel angel. Goodbye, Ophelia. Well, Mr. Judge, do you have any valuables that you no longer need? You have, uh, you're a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, I see. Don't suppose I can open these doors? I can. To a noisy balcony. Now that balcony over there doesn't look like a door I can open. So I can jump across, it seems little purpose. Okay. Let's check your other rooms. Should be, uh, oh, well, this one doesn't even open. Should be no one to disturb us, right? Oh. I can hear somebody asleep. So I wonder what's happened. I'm sure this incredibly noisy elevator won't wake them. Yes, in among all the uh, great bits of sound work in Thief, there's the elevators. Wait, you're asleep sitting up. Are you Ophelia? 24-9. I'm really worried about Mr. Fowley. After what's happened, he's just not the same anymore. Poor fellow, it's such a shame. Ophelia must have gone mad. One day she suddenly picked up her things and left her work for Madame Roxanne. She must take after her mother. Rumour has it that Mrs. Fowley had a lover and that one day she just left, abandoning her husband and daughter. It's a shame that Mr. Fowley never showed any intention of getting married again. He is still such a handsome man. He dedicated his life to his daughter and this is how she repays him. Sometimes children can make you regret bringing them into the world. Oh, she must be the housekeeper. Well, I will let her sleep peacefully there. No need to disturb her. Just be quiet on the elevator. The fact that the elevator is incredibly noisy doesn't really matter. It's a cat. Oh, but I can't pick that lock. Oh, this one. Uh, all right. Well, maybe I can come back here tomorrow. Unless I missed a key somewhere, but if I did, too bad. Wait. Maybe she had a key? I didn't check. You don't have a key, do you, ma'am? No. Didn't think so. Right, back up to the top floor, I'm afraid. She'll discover what happened to the judge in the morning. And hopefully she'll be so flustered she'll overlook the uh, theft of the two gold figurines. And she'll also be too busy to worry about uh, closing the door. Oh, he's got a key. That makes a difference. So I was coming back to check, but I didn't notice it before, so, uh, interesting. That means I'm not going just yet. Let's see about these cats, huh? Must be out in the alley outside. However, 
he has some good wines that uh, he is no longer in a position to appreciate, and I still am. At least my buyers are. Well, one... One good wine? Why the uh, maritime theme? And why the cellar is maritime themed? Don't know. Alright. A hole. He has sewer access. Mr. Judge, I like you already. Maybe you'll never know. Might not help me. Ah, uh, because I'm supposed to just slope in, right? Well, it can open. I just don't suppose I can do it from here. Shame. Alright. No, I do need to be on the other side. I'll avoid jumping around and making too much noise. I don't know how far the sound will resonate. But I'm going to have to jump to get over that side anyway. Footsteps. Footsteps and moaning. Oh, oh, oh wait, this is... Uh, this is Besso Cellar. What did his note actually say about the uh, turbine room? He locked her up in the turbine room. Uh, don't hurt her, obviously. Da -da. Sewers and turbine room. There is a door that loses the sewers, but it's locked. Before she won't be able to read it. Okay, so I don't need to come back this way just yet. I'd better lock that again. I don't think I can put that back in there, can I? Let's just leave it quietly there. Oh, that door doesn't open. What is that one? Okay. Well, next part of the series then. Okay, so I've kind of come in a complete circle, but underground. Um, I should actually mark the places I've been. I've been to the valleys. I've been here. Uh, been around Market Square, Craftsman's Way, that's the cheese shop, I've been there, that's the baker, I've been there as well, uh, any other places I've been into? Not that I could uh, recall. Oh yeah, up here. Alright. Okay. So, we went out, we went up here, found it to be a complete dead end for our purposes. Um, at least for the moment, at least for the time being. So, thought to come back here, but this gate's locked. Uh, well, not even locked, it's just closed solid. There's no way, no way out. And uh, coming all the way around, and I'm back in the sewers now. Underneath Basso's. Uh, let's sewers continue to the west. No. Let's sewers continue to the east. So, hopefully, they'll get us up past here or something. I don't know. I only hope it gets me somewhere useful. But anyway, it's uh, been an hour now, so I'm going to end the episode here, make myself a cuppa as usual, and I'll see you back here for the next episode.